Hey guys, welcome back to Chatting with the Beard and the Coronavirus. I want to thank you very much for watching these videos. If you're new here, just make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. New numbers are in. Not good. The total number of confirmed cases in New York are 15,168. There are 114 dead. 18 in the hospital, 450 in intensive care. The governor said he don't see any, any um, likelihood of this ending anywhere before six to nine months. We will be in crisis mode for that long, at least. He's not sure even if it'll be over by then. Because the numbers just keep coming in. This whole backup thing, they're trying to get away from now. Because it's not just the backup. The numbers are going to go up no matter what. People in New York are not doing this social distance. There are people hanging out across the street at the bar yesterday. They were selling uh, ribeye steaks. Having a bunch of people hanging out there. I don't understand. You guys got to take this seriously. The government... The local governments, all the way up to the federal government, have to stop doing uh, PR. Public relations, lying to people, making things seem to be a little bit lighter than they are, not going to work. Everybody wants to know the truth. You have to tell us. All they do is, on these news reports, is talk about how good things are, or how good things could be. Things aren't good, and things aren't going to be good for a long time now. We need to have the truth out there. The numbers are going up crazy. It, it doesn't even... It, it shocks me every day. Uh, yesterday it was uh, 11,710. Today it's 15,000. I mean, really? I don't see anything... Uh, they, they put us... Governor Cuomo doesn't like the shelter-in-place statement. So he says it's a pause. Is there, I don't think these these essential businesses that they say are open should stay open, most of them. Is there any reason why a car wash is open? Do you really need your car to be washed? Just to bring people there? I mean, they're automated. There's no more, you know, you get the uh, car washes out there and dry your car. They, they don't have that up here. And they're all, you know, do it yourself or run through the automated machine. But it's still bringing people in the same area for no reason. Laundry mats? Really? Do they really have to be open? There's one over here that's in the next town over. I drove by last night and there were like five you know, cars outside at midnight. Go wash your clothes in the freaking sink if you have to. These are drastic times, so you have to take drastic measures. There's no reason to go out at all. Um... I will show you, I don't know if it's going to be able to pop up, but I took a uh, screenshot of the rules for the pause of New York, and I, I think it's kind of like a joke, but there are a few things, you know, you'll read them, I'll put them up here, they'll, they'll be overlaid now, and we'll see if I can get that done for you so you can read it. I don't think that most of them are uh, stringent enough, I think they're very lax. I think it's just to, to publicize to the people that something's being done, but I think it needs to be even more drastic for this to really work. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how, it, how things are going in your town. I mean, there's people, there's a guy on Facebook that I know from my old neighborhood who was outside taking all kinds of pictures. Uh, it's kind of like making a joke out of it, like, you know, like uh, a Dawn of the Dead or, you know, a zombie movie. Um, it, it's really, people are we're not taking it serious enough in my eyes, so we're in trouble. And uh, anybody who wants the truth, you come watch me and I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to candy coat anything, so can't. You guys all take care. Common sense.